Hi, Brian Jones here behind the camera doing the talking and the pointing. Um, I am a bit of a Comet and Falcon fan. I've had a, I've got a few Comets right now, and I've got a '63 sedan delivery. And uh, I just, uh, this is going to focus on the uh, the issues of of the cowls on these cars, where the air intake comes through, and um, no doubt, unless you're uh, extremely lucky. You probably have an issue with water dripping down into your interior. And uh, I want to show you while I've got this cowl off still what it looks like inside the car and the, the way it's uh, constructed. So um, there's just the, the main piece missing off, off the top here. It's one big panel with the exception of right here there are a couple little connector braces that are also made out of uh, stamped sheet metal. You'll see those if you pop your hood. But um, the uh, the thing is, is spot welded on, and it sits it sits on this edge right here, and usually there's a little gap behind it, but it just sits on top of this, and it comes down over here. It kind of follows this line right here, and then uh, basically right along here, it's got a an outward fold on the bottom where it's thin and it's spot welded on here. Now there's usually pretty much a triangular opening on there. I guess you could consider that the uh, the overflow drain. But as you might be able to tell, if you look at this, you can see this major pitting right here. I mean, it is it is even up in here and here. It's everywhere. And the reason is is because these cars are welded together and there is absolutely no sealer in this whole area. And um, just to show you the uh, configuration here, this panel right here, I guess it, it uh, starts right here. There's a little bit of a downward lip. You can see there's a kink in it right here. Just a little bit of a lip going over the edge. So it starts here, comes back all one piece, runs back here, comes up here, and it is the forward half of this pinch weld that your windshield sits on right here. And uh, you know, I guess I can't really see, but it must, it must wrap around. Yeah, I think it ends right about in here. I haven't got the doors off yet, but that's not really what I wanted to show you. But here's here's the main issue right here. These air intakes right here, these round deals, they're sheet metal, and they have a, down at the bottom here, there's a 90 degree bend that comes out, and there's a half inch lip down here. Now what they do is these are spot welded on, and there is some form of pretty weak um, uh, sealer in there. You can see there's a lip inside, yeah, and you can see remnants. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me try to get some lighting in there. If you look right down in there, you can see remnants of some foam, and I guess that was supposedly originally a water seal, but it's very under par. And so what I did here was I, I ran a bead all the way around to join these two pieces together. I'm going to go over it with, so I'm going to paint, I'm going to treat this first, and then I'm going to go over it with some uh, polyurethane, or excuse me, urethane paint with hardener in it, and I'm going to do a few layers of it, and I'm going to fill in these pits. But I, once I get a layer or two down here, I'm also going to go over this part right here with some urethane flexible sealer, paintable sealer, then I'll put another coat of paint on that. I think I'll probably be good at that point. Uh, up in, up right here on this, on this edge right here, when I pulled the cowl off, there was a bit of an adhesive there. And um, I suppose that, I, that is something you've got to watch for too. I, I think those weren't really the issue. It was really all, this is where they leak, right in here. And um, so that's what you're up against. And then you can see right here, there's there, there's the front edge of this, this part, the big main panel I'm showing you right now. But then see this other layer right here. I believe that is the, um, that's the uh, firewall it's a panel coming up, goes over and it lays in there. And if you look, I mean, just like the way this thing's built, and pretty much most cars, if you look right in here, and here, where am I? Right there, there's nice rust bleeding in there. Now you gotta, you can't really tear the whole car apart unless you're really ambitious. It's a lot of work, it's pretty brutal drilling out all these spot welds. And I got it pretty much here, and by the way, this cowl, I believe, is the same, same panel all the way from 1960 to if I'm not mistaken, I think all the way up to 65, it might be identical. But it's 63 anyway, I'm sure. But uh, Falcon and Comet are the same. I've got um, I've got a uh, panel off a of 60 Falcon that I'm going to put on here, and I've already fitted on there. It's the identical panel. 
So with that in mind, uh, that's kind of what I've got in mind. Let me check my list here. Oh yeah, so just to say ahead of time, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, but uh, what I want to say is this this right here. You can see the lift comes all the way up, and there's a nice there's a nice uh, height to it. Height. To, so in other words, there's no seam right here. So as long as it was sealed and it wasn't rusting, no problem. The water's going to flow out of there. Um, I suppose, yeah, right here, now that I think about it, this is pretty level. Water's going to come right down through your grill, right in this area here where your grill's at. And so it could bleed under here. I'm, I'm, I'll have to get back on that, but I, what I'm planning on doing is, is somehow getting in here. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some long brushes, and I'm going to go up and through here, and I'm just going to have a a round sponge brush and I want to try to I want to try to seal this seam so when I get done water can't get under there but just so you know this is where the the weld level goes along this line right here you can see the the spot welds that I've drilled out there's one right there and another one there and there um, I am going to um, I'm going to use weld through coating where I'm going to be welding but the rest of it's going to be uh, urethane paint with hardener and you know, really, there are some really good adhesives out there. Although I, I kind of do like the idea of actual welding, but you could probably glue this thing on with some really good adhesive that would be stronger than welding, and you would not have a uh, an issue with uh, with water getting in in there. And then, like on the ends right here, uh, this is also a concern from the factory. Uh, I believe it's you know raw steel in between these two layers and on the end here it's just got the the fold and then the spot weld and water can get under here and do a lot of rust damage and um, so I don't know uh, that's uh, that's what you're looking at when you take the thing apart so if yours isn't leaking count count your uh, blessings but you know if you don't really have a, a big situation I think what I'm gonna try to work on before I put this back together is to devise a way to, um, without having to take this off, where a person could go in there and descale it to a high degree and use lots of chemicals and um, and treat the rust and then paint it, and then hopefully a way to get in here without having to take the whole thing off and, and seal this off. I'll give it some thought, and of course you can too. So what I'll do is I, I'm going to map out, before I put it all back together, I'm going to give it some thought and try to give you an idea of some of my ideas on how you could get through access right through here and and treat the whole thing from side to side I'll get back on that later so hopefully this was a little bit informative for you and um, I'll be back with number two at some point thanks for watching